What's up my friends? I am Miranda. If you're buying your first backpack, you might be wondering how to find your size. Now we often invite people to go into their local REI and get sized by a professional, but if you don't have that ability right now, you can actually size yourself at home. So I'm going to show you how you can find your torso length so you can buy your perfect backpacking bag. Let's get started. You'll need a tape measure and a pen and some paper. If you don't have a tape measure, you can use some cord or string and a ruler. I don't actually own a ruler, so this is a level with a ruler on the side. Make do with what you got, right? So to find your size backpack, we are going to take two measurements. First measurement we'll take is our torso length, and then the next measurement is your hip width. So let's do it. So the first step is to drop my chin to my chest like this. And then I'm gonna find C7, which is this great big bone that sticks out at the base of my neck. And that's the starting point for my torso measurement. So we'll take our tape measure, put it right there, and then holding it firmly in place with my head up. Cool. The base measurement of my spine is the top of my iliac crest. So to do that, I need to find my hip bones. For some people, this might be really easy. You can just basically put your hand on your hips so that your palm is wrapped around your hips. And then where my thumb is in the back should be tracing along the top of my iliac crest. So I'm going to basically continue to trace that in towards my back. So keeping my thumb at that marker, I wanna stand up nice and tall. I'm gonna try and make sure that this tape measure is running straight down my spine. Get to that thumb measurement, pinch it off, and then take a look. I measured at about 17 inches. So I'm gonna write that number down and then I'm going to do the exact same thing two more times. The reason we do this three times is that it's a little bit challenging to get an accurate measurement on yourself. So if you take three different measurements and average them together, um, I think you'll, you'll be a lot more likely to come up with a true measurement of your torso length. Let's do it again. So we've done it twice. Now we're gonna do it a third time. Cool. So I took three different torso measurements and I got 16 and a half inches, 17 inches, and 16.75 inches. And then I'm somewhere in between there. Wait. The next measurement that I'm going to take is my hip measurement. This is gonna be a little bit different for men and for women, but basically you're just looking for the absolute widest part on this part of your body. My wide section. So now with those two numbers, I can look at the size charts on packs and find the pack that's right for me. Let's look at pack charts. Hooray. So every brand does torso measurements differently. And on aria.com, you can actually see the range of torso sizes depending on the size of the pack. So I'm gonna show you three different brands and just uh, how you might see a variety of different sizes. So here I have the Osprey Aura AG 50 pack for women. You can see that it comes in an extra small, a small, and a medium. So I'm gonna scroll down to where you see these technical specs of the bag. And you might be tempted to look at this and go, okay, well, the extra small pack is only 44 liters and I wanted a 50 liter, I'll just get the medium. But again, what we're doing with the sizing is finding the pack that's going to fit our body the best. So my torso measures somewhere between 16 and 17 inches. You can see down here where it says fits torso length. The extra small is 14 to 17 inches. The small is 16 to 19, medium is 18 to 21. I know that I need a size small pack, but just to confirm, I can look down here at the fits waist and hip, and that's gonna fit my waist slash hips completely fine. If you're buying your first backpacking bag, I would recommend looking for one that has an adjustable torso length instead of a fixed torso length. So something like the Osprey Aura, where you can see here that uh, the torso has a range from 14 to 17 inches in terms of sizing. This is the women's version. If we're looking at the men's, same kind of thing. You can see the sizing is small, medium, large. Uh, and then we go down here. You can see for the men, fits torso length 16 to 19 inches, uh, medium 18 to 21, large 20 to 23. Let's take a look at the Gregory Jade 38. So this pack is sized a little differently. For torso sizes, you have an extra small, small, and a small medium. So if we scroll down to the chart on this one, you can see that it says that the small medium fits torso length 16 to 20 inches, and the extra small, small fits torso length 14 to 18 inches. This is where this can get a little bit confusing. So if you are in the very wide overlap in this of somewhere between 16 and 18 inches, like me, uh, you might be unsure what size you should buy. I know that for myself, I would probably end up getting a small medium. I actually have pretty broad 
shoulders and like pretty big lats. I've got pretty big lats, I'm pretty strong. <laughs> Uh, that's just something I know about my body. So I know that having a little bit of extra length in the suspension system in the harness is going to give me more space for it to come over my shoulders. So if you have a really broad chest, if you're really muscular, if you've got like really big pecs, you might want to get the larger size torso so that you can have, basically those straps can come over your body more. With that being said, a number of packs actually have interchangeable hip belts and harnesses or shoulder straps that you can buy separately from the pack. Or when you have an opportunity, you can go into your local REI and have them swap that out for you. All right, let's look at one more. Let's look at the REI Co-op Flash 45 pack. So this pack comes in an extra small, a small, and a medium. In this case, there is only a single measurement on the torso. So we have a 16 inch torso for the extra small, a 17 for the small, and an 18 for the medium. Again, since I know that my torso length is somewhere between 16 and 17 inches, and I have measured myself at closer to 17 inches, I'm going to go with the size small instead of the extra small. So this is why we do these variety of measurements. You do this a couple times and you're measuring yourself and then just kind of average all of that together. Cool. So hopefully this video was helpful and uh, you're able to find, what am I trying to say? How do you do these things? What is happening? Don't answer that. Hopefully this video was helpful and you were able to find your torso size and figure out which size pack you need. As always, you can read all of REI's awesome expert advice articles online. I hope you all are staying safe out there. That's it. Have a great day and I will see you next time.